all black lives matter. That message from a group of protesters downtown San Antonio today. Yeah, they marched to end racial inequality and violence against men and women of color, especially those in the LGBTQ plus community. This one day after the Trump administration announced plans to roll back health care protections for the transgender community. The protest also coming on a weekend, which marks the four year anniversary of the mass shooting at the Pulse nightclub in Orlando. The night team Stephen Cavazos with the change local groups demand to see in this edition of South Texas Pride. Black Lives Matter. I have to fight two battles, not only being black, also being queer. Tristan Mays says it's a fight he's faced his whole life, being black and gay. But that's what brought him and others out to the Bear County Courthouse today. Protesters aim to shed light on the discriminations men and women of color face, particularly those within the LGBTQ plus community. You're not only discriminated because of your skin color that you can't change, and you're also discriminated because of your sexuality, which you also can't change. Then he shared their stories of adversity and their hope for acceptance, a message May says has never been more important. My existence has to be respected. My trans people have to be respected because we're all human beings at the end of the day. But this diverse community has seen its fair share of challenges over the years. In 2017, Kenny McFadden, a black trans woman, was found dead in the San Antonio River. The medical examiner ruled her death as a homicide. Dee Dee Decor, a black trans woman, says McFadden's death was a significant loss. I felt like I also lost a sister because I came to know her and she taught me a lot. She says violence against trans women of color is as real as their lack of equality. Recently, the Trump administration announced it's stripping away health care protections for transgender men and women opening the door for further discrimination. Decor says it was the final insult. It's a disrespect, you know, it's a spit in the face. But she says it's just one of the many reasons why all black lives should matter. And she hopes others are willing to listen. Try to educate yourself and get to know what that person's story is. Now again, yesterday did mark four years since a deadly shooting at Pulse nightclub in Orlando, Florida. 49 people lost their lives after a gunman opened fire. And over here at Crockett Park, a small candlelight vigil was held to honor the lives lost due to acts of violence. Now, San Antonio Mayor Ron Nirenberg was also present. He does tell us that San Antonio will not be known as a place of inequality. Tim, Courtney.